Rockies hosting the Phillies, and the Phillies are minus 235 on the money line. The Rockies are plus 194. The over-under is 10 runs. The Phillies laying a run and a half on the run line are minus 162, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. And the Rockies getting a run and a half on the run line are plus 134, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you would win. Now they play today, and the Rockies won in extra innings, 3-2. to two. Uh, Nola pitched once against the Rockies this season. Seven and a third, one run, one earned. They won that game 2-1, to one, and he struck out nine. And Hudson pitched twice against the Phillies last year as a member of the Cardinals. Five innings, three runs, three earned. They, um, they won 6-5, he struck out three. And then five and two-thirds, five runs, five earned. They lost 12-1, he struck out one. The weather in Colorado is supposed to be 65 degrees, 10 mile an hour winds blowing from the left to the right, and a 23% chance of rain. Head to head, the home team's on a five game winning streak. The home team is 8 and 2. The Phillies are 8 and 2. The favorite is 8 and 2 on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 6 and 4. There have been five one run games in their last 10 meetings, including the last two that they played against each other, which were both this year. The under is 8 and 2 in their last 10, and the under 10 is 7 and 3. The Phillies are 4-1 and one in Nola's last five starts. They've won his last two starts. And the over-under is 2-2-1 two, two and one in those starts. Six and two-thirds innings pitched, 5.2 hits, 2.4 runs, 2.2 of which were earned, 6.8 strikeouts, 1.6 walks, 0.6 home runs, 100.2 pitches, 15.8 pitches per inning. He did give up two home runs in the last game that he pitched in. For the Rockies, they are two and three in Hudson's last five starts. Four and a third innings pitched, 4.8 hits, 3.6 runs, 3.4 earned runs, 2.8 strikeouts, 3.2 walks, 0.6 home runs, 82 pitches per game, and then 18.7 pitches per inning. Now, if you're looking for value, this is probably going to be the value game to bet the Rockies because if you want to follow that home team stat. The Phillies have just been playing very well for Nola. The Phillies are... 8-2 8-2 and two in their last 10. This didn't update yet. 3-1 and one in their last 4. 7 runs, 15, uh, 15 runs, 7 runs, and then 5 runs today. 5 runs and a win, 11 runs and a win, 5 runs and a win, and then three runs in, uh, 2 runs and a loss. For the Rockies, they are 5-5 five and five in their last 10, 2-2 two and two in their last 4. 9 runs, 7 runs, 19 runs, and then 5 runs. Four runs and a loss, four runs and a win, nine runs and a loss, and then three runs and a win in extra innings. I'm going to take the Phillies with the money line. I will take the Phillies laying the runs. I'm going to go under, and this is another one of those games that I kind of hope the Rockies get a cheap run really early in the game, and the Phillies' money line just kind of plummets, and then that would be one I would bet them. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.